Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Booster Cracking Sunday, and today I just got something in the mail. It is the pre-release kit. That's right. The Magic Stone War Zero pre-release kit. It's time to upgrade our playmat, get some new promo cards, and just open a frick ton of packs. So let's crack this thing open and check out what's inside. Pre-release kit for the Magic Stone War, the set that has already been pretty much sold out in a lot of places. Uh, price has already gone up and this is hard to come by. I mean, I couldn't find this thing anywhere. I had to pull it off eBay and purchase this thing, but I'm glad I found it. There was only like one available. I haven't seen any others yet. So yeah, here it is. Let's get the plastic off. Two play mats. Let's go and look at that. Look at all those cool looking loose packs in here. Wow. Oh, okay. They're a little bit scattered. That's all right. That's all right. Let's move this down for a second. Let's focus on these because I think I'm sorry, Zero. You know, I like you as a character, but we got to move on up with the new stuff here. Ooh, are they a little bit thinner? They almost feel a little bit thinner. Look at that beautiful looking playmat. We got another one here. That'll just be kept to the side for now. But holy cow, look at how cool that is. Oh man, so it's right up my alley. This is such a cool playmat for sure. Hopefully you guys like this thing. This is sick. It looks, it, the quality looks amazing on it too. They don't always look, uh, incredibly well when it comes to play mats. Sometimes the quality just isn't there, but this one is there for sure. This looks amazing. All right, so before we get into all the packs, I guess we should check out what's hiding in here. Well, I guess uh, I guess that's about it, right? And then we just gotta check out all these other cards. We can scope out all these packs that we're gonna dig through, but yeah, let's jump into our nice little promo cards we get with this thing. All right, into the cool cards that we get with this thing. So let's go over the ones we already know about. We've got these two suckers here. These are to replace our buy a box promos because we do have the equivalent to two full boxes in the pre-release kit. So they're giving us two of these buy box promos, which is very nice. I will take as many of these as I can get because they're amazing. We'll leave those sealed for now. We'll leave those sealed. And then over here, something I didn't really realize was in the pre-release kit was this guy, which I believe he's like 10 bucks, honestly, <laughs> which is crazy, but uh, Giant of Will, or what is it? Yeah, Giant of Will. And it's a full art, full, it's a, oh, it's a J ruler too. Wow, okay. I didn't realize that. Oh, oh, Arcana of Will. Okay, so these are just our like cool looking J rulers. Giant of Will, pretty sick looking. That's awesome. Okay, I didn't know we got him. And then over here, we got our nice Cthulhu card. So let's see if we can get into this pack here. Come on. Come on. Wow, this thing's sealed pretty dang shut. I brought my knife again. Just a little slice. Thank you. I didn't break any of the cards. It's okay. All right. Let's crack this thing open. We've got Azathos, the Manifestation. The metasophistation. I don't know why I can't say that word lately, but look at how awesome this freaking card is. It is so freaking cool. And we've got a frick ton of them. One, two, I think we got 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Wow, we got 12 of these suckers. That's insane. Holy cow, that's crazy. Well, yeah, I'm super happy. This is such a, this is one of my favorite pre-release kit cards I think I've seen in a while. This thing is awesome. I and mean, they always do a good job with pre-release cards, but this one is just dope and right up my alley, of course. All right, clear the way on the brand new play mats. Let's get some cards. We are not going to be doing all of this pre-release kit today. We are just gonna be doing, I think about half of it. All right, wow. I think we got 36 packs here, so that's the equivalent to one box, and that's what we're gonna open up today. Holy cow, we've got a lot of packs. We got some order back to the cards now, so let's go ahead and just jump right into these first packs. See what kind of awesomeness we can find. There's still some cards in here that I definitely want to get. Uh, we're gonna kind of skip through the normals now at this point since we've seen pretty much all of them. So we're just gonna skip through to the explosive little match girl, just the normal version. And oh, I don't think we've gotten this one. Illusionary Flower of Sorrow. Okay, very nice. There is no lucky left side anymore. 
because we're just pulling from the box. So we're just gonna cruise through and hope for the best pulls we can get. Fountain of Trials, and then very nice, a full art of Spirit of Oblivion. Awesome, that was in our first box we got. Cranking, let's go, come on. We're gonna make record time on this one. There we go, life points and magic stone bird, just a bird, but a full art extraction wizard. That is one I definitely want to get. She looks awesome in a full art foil, very, very nice. Next one, let's go. Can I get better at jumping to the back? Not on that one, I couldn't. Okay, that's fine though. Fire magic stone, the life points, and then we got our double card with the pulse and what is it, poet of madness. Oh, very nice. This is one of the Awakening Full Arts that I didn't get in my box. We got three Full Art of the Awakenings, and the Awakening of Mojart is not one of them, so I'm happy to add this beautiful looking artwork to my collection, because this is just fantastic. Really, really cool. We're on a we're on a blue theme, a blue and purple theme right now. I don't know if that trend is going to continue, but that's just the theme. Four packs in, and uh, we're just pulling the purple, blue, foiling, nice cards. Straight to a normal and then to the Darkness Magic Stone. Behind it, we've got Storytelling Girl as our rare and then a double card of Dark Poil, Dark Poise? Dark Pulse, po foil, foil, wow, I can't, <laughs> can't do it. Next pack, let's go. All right, straight to some more normals. That's fine, we're not doing great at going to the Fire Magic Stone, but there it is. And then we've got Dark Sphere, Spirit of the Dark Knight as our rare. Behind it, just a normal messenger from the Spirit Village. Cruising through, we are gonna go right to that guy, which we just got. A will coin, and then three-eyed fortune teller as our rare, and then a nice looking, kind of like a faded looking, honestly. Maybe it's just the light. Looks a little bit better on camera, but she looks kind of faded, honestly. Rain of light and Tinkerbell as our double full art. That's the one thing, you know, this had to get shipped to me. Hopefully none of the cards were really damaged or anything. We went straight to the life point on that one. Symphony of Symphony of the Two Great Dragons and Spirit of Autumn Wind as our super rare full art. All right, I don't think this one's really worth much, but it is a full art, so I will take it. Next one, here we go. Kept that one off camera a little bit. Wind Magic Stone, and there's the normal version of Rain of Light and Magic Stone Research Institute as our full art. Very beautiful looking, really cool artwork on that one. There's just a ton going on, but it's clear. It's clear and it's nice, it's not confusing. I appreciate that. Next one, these are opening easy and I like it. Wind Magic Stone, and then we've got Never End Fairy Tale Dragon. That is one I haven't seen yet, actually. We didn't get that one at all. And then we got the Transformed as our full art foil, which we did get before, but still pretty cool. Into the next one. We just cruise through a good number, but we're going to the Fire Magic Stone, the Life Point, and Magic Stone Bird. Eh, I don't care about the Birds of Paradise so much, but that is a pretty nice one. The Magic Stone of the Six Sages as our full art. And it's pretty funny, like TGC player, TCG player, TCG player isn't even updated with all like the uh, full art cards and stuff, like what they actually look like. There's no one scanned them in yet or anything, so it's just a bunch of like blank things with a guesstimated price. Just so you guys know, in the last video, I know we made like major bank, but that is just an overestimation on what these cards are actually worth. This is, again, what happens when a new box set comes out and not everybody has them on the market yet, there's only a few people and everybody's excited about the cards. Things are gonna skyrocket, you gotta give it a week or so, things will start coming down in price and you'll see the real value. So um, I know that there was, it was even surprising for me to see as much uh, as we got in value, quote unquote, in the last unboxing, but uh, I think we'll start to see as the weeks go on all these prices. Obviously, just like in Magic the Gathering or any card game, they're going to start to settle down and become more normalized. All right, we're pulling from my left stacks. Maybe we'll be getting really good luck with our left stacks. I mean, we've been pulling a lot of rare full arts, so honestly, like we've only gotten two normals. 
two normal full arts is actually really good. Really, really good. Life Point, uh, Lilith's Petal. I can't keep track of which of these Marvel rares are the ones that are worth high value. I believe this one is a good amount. There's like three out of like the 10 double cards that are actually worth like some pretty good value. Uh, but behind that, we got Duo of Water, which is a normal but a beautiful looking card with zero and Mojart on it. So three normals and a frick ton of rares and super rares. I am fine with that. Will Coin Awakening of Almerus as our rare and then Duet of Light as our full art normal, but a really cool looking card nonetheless. Next one, let's get into it. Let's go. Blank page. Oh man, tipping the camera. Chill out, chill out. All right, Sacrifice of Words and Memories as our rare, and that is a great one to get. I really do like this card a lot. The Magic Stone of the Demonic World as our full art foil. Beautiful looking full art, and it's got some value. I think the Six Sages card is a little bit more valued, but uh, Demonic is definitely higher on my list for the looks. I mean, they both look beautiful, but like something about the Demonic one is just so cool looking compared to the Six Sages, but I think this one is more highly valued. Keep her going. I feel like one of these times I'm not going to realize I pull a God Pack or something. I'm just going to like skip right past all the rares and stuff, but that'd be amazing. I would love to make that mistake. The Awakening of Grubelberry, as we like to call him over here, and then the release of Fairy Tales as our normal full art. Let's keep it going. I like what we're doing here. We're kind of, I feel like I just jumped straight to the rare on that one, but we're going to go to the life points or the stone just to make it more interesting. Snow White of the Red Apple. That is a good one. Uh, I believe it's like $7 or something, or is this the 14 one? Can't remember, but you know, prices are going to shift. Let's see what's behind it though. We got a blank page, just a normal, but a cool full art nonetheless. No J rulers yet. We need to pull a J ruler. I know it's kind of weird with pre-release kits and pulling J rulers. Sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you don't. There's Awakening of Goobleberry again and Spirit of Regret as our normal. Cool looking card though, I haven't seen him. In the booster boxes, you're guaranteed at least two J rulers, but in the pre-release kit, I don't think that's the case. You're not necessarily gonna be guaranteed four J rulers per your two boxes per your pre-release kit. I think it's a little bit more randomized, so you could get really luckily and maybe get like six J rulers or maybe you only get one or two, who knows. Fountain of Trials again, and then we've got the cool looking Keymaster of the Outer World. Really do like this card. It feels very much like a Magic the Gathering card with this artwork for sure, but really nice. And that's just it. Like the boxes are more structured with how many full art super rares and, and rares you get in full arts. And like we're seeing right now, we're pulling more rare full arts than we are normals, and I think it's a little bit more balanced in the booster boxes, so kind of cool. And then, like I said, it just depends on what you can find. So Cayuga and Flying Bamboo as our double. Behind that, though, we got King of the Salamander, just a normal. Cool looking card, though. Very nice with the fire and the foil. Fire on the foil. Keep it coming, let's go. We're going straight to the life point. Into the awakening of zero, not a bad one. And then we've got the fantasy dragon and the moon incarnation, very nice. Cracking on, cracking on, let's see. Can we get past all the normals? Not quite, I messed that one up, that's okay. Light magic stone, will coin, salamander, spirit of fire, and ghost flame. And then we have Spirit Village as our rare full arts. Boom! All right, we're going to the last pack of this side of the stack. And I have one stack right over here that'll be left. There we go. Very nice. Magic Stone of Six Sages, just the normal version. Behind it, we've got Flame of the Outer World and Satan's Phantasmal Body. This one's not really valued very highly. It's like a four bucker. Maybe it's even gone down. New stack, new piece of luck. Let's do this. Give me a J ruler before the day is done, will ya? We've got Weaver of Fairy Tales, uh, Shezarad, Shezarad, as our super rare. I have not gotten her yet. I don't know what she's valued. That'll be interesting to see. And Fountain of the Oblivion Moon as our normal full art foil. Cracking on, let's do this thing. Going to 
There we go, right to the magic stone. And then to Spirit Village, normal version. Behind it, this looks like a normal. It is the Spirit Shaman Village Man Dude. Cool looking artwork though. That's pretty sick looking actually. Ooh. Bang, here we go. Duet of Wind, Light Magic Stone, our life points, Awakening of Fishing, 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 Fishing Girl. I don't know how to say her name, uh, but she is a cool card. Need to get her in a full art of this version and the J Ruler of her, although I'm not a fan of her artwork on the J Ruler. Cool looking card here, the beginning of the fairy tale. Really nice full art. That is awesome. Normal, but really cool. Oh, I'm sweating. Oh, I'm sweating. I got the heat coming right here on me and this LED lamp is is not cool it is keeping me nice and warm water magic stone will coin and we got the cool gullwing dragon spirit normal and awakening of the magic stones just the normal though so what have you guys been thinking about the set have you guys pulled anything big have you been enjoying the set and do you think it's overpowered or do you think it's starting to become more balanced all you guys in the force of will game that know it a little bit better than me leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think fairy tale moon is our rare and yeah there we go there's some full arts i want to see right there yog soth the true hunger is a true hunger true hunger as our full art this guy is so sick he's so cool looking ah i love all the artwork on these guys kudos to you man you did a great job with all this artwork i just realized my guy's off just a little bit but that's okay we're still squared up here on the camera really awesome card really awesome we need to pull him i want him he's next come on we we've been cruising through this that's all we've got left of packs you know Let's see what we can get here. Come on. All right. Straight to the life point. That works. There's Nara left the tap. Bringer of War. Sick card. Need the full art. Behind it, though, we've just got a normal, just a demonic world assault from the demonic world. Yeah, that's it. Nothing crazy. All these J rulers are hiding at the bottom of my box, I guess. Uh, let's go to the fire magic stone. I keep bouncing my camera, but we got Spirit of Guidance and magic beanstalk as our normal. All right, now our normals are starting to creep up on our rare and super rares. We got really lucky at the beginning and now they're starting to become more uh, in sync with how many we're pulling, I think. We'll count them up, I'll see for sure. But there we go, we've got his last lecture and master of the six sages as our Marvel rare. So I'm pretty sure this one's like a good valued one. Behind it, we got a really nice normal illusionary mermaid as our full arts. I'll take it. That's a cool looking card. All right, cracking on. Here we go. Straight to almost went to the rare. I got a little peek of it. I don't know what we got though. Wolfgang's Apocalypse. Sweet, sweet card. Will we get Wolfgang though? Is it a sign? Boom. No, it's not, but it's a cool looking card, that's for sure. Book of the Outer World Necronomicon, which we got in my last box. Awesome card. I'll take it. That one's sick. Bang. Here we go. Straight to the Fire Magic Stone. Gotta love it. A little Fairy, Tinkerbell, and Reign of Light. And yeah, that's a full art I wanted to get. The Three-Eyed Fortune Teller full art, really cool. Got anything purple in it with the Force of Will card set. It just looks awesome with the foiling, so I'll take it, that is sweet. Into the next one. See you later, Fox, we don't need you here. To the life points, and then to the Extraction Wizard, and then Gullwing as our full art. Dragon Spirits, cool card. Three more packs. This is how they're set up here. All right, right on the board. It's gonna be our lucky left side. It's always true in Force of Will, right? We gotta make it known. Lucky left side always, even if it's randomized completely. So let's start on the right, shall we? Boom, Illusionary Snow into our Darkness Magic Stone. Three-Eyed Fortune Teller again. And Symphony of the Two Great Dragons Rare Full Arts. Really beautiful. Middle pack, it's time. Let's do this. We got Galinda on the front. Maybe it's a good sign when you see the Glinda. Awakening of Millist. We haven't seen Millist yet either. Would like to get him. And Ancestor's Portrait as our normal foil. Mm -mm. See, it's just the middle. It's not the lucky left side. Here it is, right here. The lucky left side. Will we get something good or will we get ripped off? And have you guys stay tuned for next week when we open up the rest of the box. But hey, 
stay tuned for next week. We're going to open up the rest of the pre-release kit. So if you're looking forward to that and you want to see what else I'm going to pull in that box, make sure to stick around, hit subscribe. We're trying to reach a thousand subscribers, so I appreciate any support and stay tuned for next week. We're going to finish off this box. But the last pack, here we go. Desperate Aid, Darkness Magic Stone. Behind it, Magic Stone Research Institute. And Cinderella and the Rampaging Pumpkin Carriage Duel. Uh, this is a Marvel Rare. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a good it's a good one to get, so that's nice. Uh, but yeah, let's count up how we did. Let's count up how we did. All right, so out of what we've pulled so far, now again, this isn't the entire pre-release box, uh, pre-release kit, but so far we pulled 20 rare and super rare Marvel Rares, all our good stuff. Uh, as far as foils and full arts, we pulled 20 of them, and foil, full arts of normals, we pulled 16. So we are leading the pack with these, so that's not too shabby if I do say so myself. In no particular order, here's our picks of the day. We've got our Extraction Wizard, the Awakening of Mojart, Research Institute, our very nice Demonic Stone of the... Mo Demonic Stone, Magic Stone of the Demonic World, our Six Sages Stone, our Yogg-Soth, the Hunger, and then we've got our nice double Marvel Rare, which should hold some good value. Cinderella as our last pull of the day. Price is up on screen for how we did so far this week in the pre-release kit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you again for tuning in and checking out and subscribing. I appreciate everybody giving likes and checking out the video. And stay tuned again for next week. We're going to finish up the rest of this box. So come on back next Sunday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we will see you guys in the next video. Right here, this camera this time. Oh, wow, I missed? <laughs> Miss the camera. <laughs> All right, see ya.